Right here we're going to look at what happens when we heat a gas at constant pressure. So let's assume we have a mass of gas at a temperature T1, V1 and U1 and we're going to heat that so that the new temperature comes T2, its new volume is T2 and its new uh, internal energy is U2. And we're going to do all this under atmospheric pressure. So the pressure is constant uh, in both, both cases, constant at atmospheric. Therefore, the heat required to heat the gas from this state to that state is from the specific heat capacity, M. Specific heat capacity to gas at constant pressure times T2 minus T1. If we look at it on a, a PV diagram, there's the first volume, there's the second volume, pressure is constant. So the work done is the area under that graph. And why is that? Well, we know the pressure is equal to force over area. That means the force is pressure by area. Work is forced by distance. So instead of force, I'm going to put pressure by area from here. So pressure area by area by distance. So here we have a cross-sectional area, and there's a distance d. So the change in volume here is equal to a by d. Okay, this is the change in volume of the ga of the gas. So I can say that work is equal to pressure times the change in volume. If there's the pressure times the change in volume. So this area here is the work done. Why does that help us? Well, um, it helps us because in a system that obeys the first law of thermodynamics, the change in internal energy is equal to Q minus W. And we've just seen that the work done is the pressure times the change in volume. So the change in internal energy, U2 minus U1, is equal to heat supplied minus the work done. Well, the heat supplied is this uh, expression here, and the work done is this expression. Now, if I bring the pressure and volumes over to this side, I'll get U2 uh, plus PV2. So that's a minus here, becomes a plus when I bring it over. <coughs> minus U1 times plus V1. So that's a minus going over, so a minus by a plus is a minus. Uh, is equal to this expression. So basically I've just brought this over and integrated it. And why is that helpful? Well, internal energy plus pressure energy, we call that enthalpy. So I can say that the change in enthalpy, H2 minus H1, is equal to M, specific heat capacity constant pressure, times T2 minus T1. So we've just seen that the change in enthalpy is the mass times specific heat capacity constant or, uh, pressure times the change in temperature. Divide across by M, I get the specific enthalpy is equal to this expression. Bringing <coughs> Cp to one side, I can get the Cp is the change in enthalpy with temperature, which can also be written as Cp is the change in enthalpy with temperature when it's at a constant pressure.